This is my savvy story. This is my this savvy, is my savvy story. story. This is my savvy story. I'm from the Bronx, New York, uh, big city, right? Uh, living, I uh, grew up in an area um, that was right near where everything was on and popping, right? For the Bronx itself, on the western side, um, Van Cortland Park. I remember the smell of pizza. I remember the smell of awesome, you know, uh, Jewish food, actually. There was a Jewish community not too far from, uh, from where I live. And so, like, the challah bread that they would make has this very distinct and sweet aroma that just made your mouth water whenever you're walking by one of their bakeries. So, um, yeah, you know, it was, it was great. Um, and I spent a good portion of my life there. Um, and I went to school outside the Bronx. So I was too you know, but uh, yeah, you know, inner city living, regular kid from the Bronx. What can I say? I was born in Temple, Texas. It's a small town. Oh, I shouldn't say it's a small town. It's a, it's a medium sized town on I-35. If you're going from Austin to Waco, it's, you drive right through it. You can see Wildcat stadium on the right hand side and you, you know, you're in Temple, Texas. It's, it's grown quite a bit since, uh, you know, the early nineties. So it's, it's a little, a lot bigger now. Uh, my dad was in the Marines and he was stationed in Tustin. So, um, you know, being born in Temple and having family in Temple, I considered Temple my hometown, but, uh, we moved to Irvine, California where he was stationed. And, you know, later on he got stationed, uh, reassigned one more time to Oceanside, California. So he was at Pendleton at a, as a rifle range instructor. But being in the military and, and seeing the camaraderie amongst the Marines, I didn't know that it was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to join the military. So I consider San Antonio my hometown now. Uh, we kind of wanted to move back to Texas after you know his, his stint in the military. And you know that's kind of where I finished out high school and join the military and so you know texas in general is where i consider home so home for me is durham north carolina um born and raised uh you know we call it bull city back home um my parents moved there from kinston north carolina so kinston north carolina i guess that would be like my second home but my home is durham north carolina that's where i was born and raised my parents are from kinston um Went to, you know, elementary school, middle school. The section of Durham where I'm from is East Durham. Uh, we lived there for the majority of my life uh, from elementary school up into high school. And I joined the Navy right after I graduated from high school. So I was 17 years old when I joined, really uh, following a family legacy of military service. Uh, I, I had a great grandfather that served in World War II. Uh, my grandfather, my dad served in uh, the Vietnam War. I had, uh, you know, cousins that were Montfort Point Marines during times of segregation in the military. So we just had a, fa a family history of service in the military. And um, it was my time. Uh, you know, college wasn't an opportunity. Um, so joining the military was the next best thing. And, you know, I do not regret it one bit. I received my college education in the military. Um, you know, life experience, lifelong friends, uh, real life training, frontline experience. So yeah, I got the whole gamut in the military and don't regret one second of it. I'm originally from Redwood City, California. Uh, one of the beautiful things about growing up in the Bay Area is the diversity of people. Um, you get to encounter so many different cultures and backgrounds and experience levels and industries. It really was an amazing community to grow up around. And Redwood City is, uh, although it is a city, it feels very kind of small town, if you will, very well established. And so we knew our neighbors. We knew, you know, the children down the street and um, if anybody ever acted up or did anything, you know, you can count on the neighbors to go ahead and make sure they tell your mom or dad. So it was definitely a very well-established community and I uh, enjoyed very much growing up in the Bay Area and being able to, again, learn so much about different types of people. This is 
is my savvy story. This is my this savvy is my story. Savvy story. This is my savvy story. For me, um, you know, I was graduating high school. College really wasn't in the cards at the time. And I just really wanted some real life experience um, on my own. And uh, I felt like the military was the best place for me to give me some structure, to give me some job training, uh, to see the world. Uh, my first time actually going into a different time zone. Actually, my first time on an airplane was going to boot camp to Chicago. Mm -hmm.